when the world never seems to be living up to your dreams and suddenly you're finding out the facts of life are all about you the legend of washington university's husky the lone husky trotted by a large brick building as he searched for a dry place to nap he panted happily the husky observed his black and white surroundings the blue cloudy sky was gray to him his head turned to another brick building different shades of gray bricks stood out to him his eyes landed on the arches which led to the doors of the building he trotted beside despite his lack of architectural knowledge he figured the arches would be strong and long enough to cover him from the hot sun the husky shook some of the mud off his fur coat though mostly dry the mud landed everywhere and spread out like cigarette smoke he walked to the arches circled four times laid down and closed his eyes he yawned with his tongue curled upward the husky soon fell asleep during his rest a loud rumble sounded in the sky a second rumble happened and it was louder than before the lone husky abruptly stood in shock he looked at the sky more clouds came and had a darker shade of gray close to black he sniffed the air after a sharp bark he dashed away to the other building he scratched the door profusely the husky barked a few times he whined it didn't take long for a human to open it the man and his pupil observed the husky he whined once more and aimed his head to the sky he barked short and loud they hesitated the lone husky was still covered with mud he circled about though he wanted to be inside to stay safe and mostly dry he walked away with his tongue happily hanging out to point its paw his tail whipped to one side at that point in time a small portion of clouds parted the sun's rays brightly shined on him the sun's rays were too powerful that mud dried and froze instantly which in turn froze him into a golden brown statue the man and his pupil stared at him in bewilderment they speechlessly stood there for months the professor and his class attempted to free him nothing worked when a few years had passed everyone save the professor and his pupil forgot the husky used to be a living animal the two never forgot by the time the pupil had graduated the professor gave the school a proper name he then chose the lone husky as its mascot so future generations would know help any animal no matter what